So I wanted to um, show how to modify a 3 liter Studebaker uh, head. This is on a 1958 Studebaker pickup, the Transtar. So what I did is I took it to a machine shop and I had 12 thousandths of an inch taking, taken off the, the head. Today the head gets cut. says you can cut ten thousandths of an inch safely and then I read online they say you can cut thirty thousandths as high as thirty thousandths without any problems to the valves so I figured twelve will be safe um, that'll increase the compression a little bit hopefully give you a little bit more horsepower and won't be too hard on the, the, the bottom end all those bearings so the next thing you could do is you can modify the spark plugs so when you go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone they give you 3 8 spark plugs. I don't know if you can see this. These tiny little spark plugs. Now what that does is that recesses the spark plug back into the chamber here and you get a lot of carbon buildup and you don't get a very complete burn. So I wanted to change that with these ones. These are a bit longer and will take up the whole thread on the cylinder. I'm oh, sorry, on the head. So what you have to do is you have to get 14 millimeter by 1.25 pitch tap some oil tap out the threads the threads already exist they're just they're going to be clogged up with carbon and then you get a 0.064 spark plug uh, spacer and all you do is you take the spacer you slide it over the spark plug like so Then you take your crush washer, put your crush washer on, and that will give you the result right here. Now you can see here I've, I've cleaned out those threads already. Uh, all you just use is a little bit of motor oil and that tap. And then once your spark plug's in, it'll be flush with the, the top, or I should say the bottom of the cylinder head, right where it should be. It should give you a more complete burn. These are called uh, AP403s. Actually, this is the copper one, so this is just a 403 spark plug. So that's the second one? Yeah, so these two have done. Grab the third one. You take that tap, 14 millimeter. Just dip it in some new motor oil. Just to lube it up. Put the tap in there, and you just have to thread it by hand, just to make sure that it's. This takes a while. There she goes. Then you just easily rotate it, cut out all that carbon. There we go. Look at that. Beauty. And just run the new spark plug in. And that's it. what it looked like before you started. Wow, what a difference.